Okay, welcome CNC fans. Uh, what we're going to do is a, a bit of a comparison, I suppose. This is aimed squarely at the novice. Um, kind of showing you what's available on eBay at the moment. As of this year, June 2014. You know, there's new stuff on the market, on eBay especially. Um, for example, you know, nowadays you can get a USB breakout board, 5 axis for £54 delivered. Takes 30 days to come. The TB6600 drivers, 2 inches by 3 inches, £12 delivered. Power supply, £25 delivered. 36 volts, 10 amps. And these motors are a 3 amp NEMA 23, 56mm long, 6.35 quarter inch shaft. There's the code. You can get three of those, and the delivery is £12.98. And uh, there's your system. So basically, you're going to be running a 36 volt, uh, 2.5 amp uh, CNC control system, we'll call it. So, that's your shopping list. Let's just run through stuff. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get one of these fused IEC chassis plug with switch. It's fused and switched. Get one from Maplin's. Comes with a cap on the back. You know, buy some heat, uh, heat shrink while you're there, you know, and it just keep it tidy. There are other ones available on, uh, on eBay, but the problem with them, they're bare at the back. That big fat bar there is live. You, uh, you don't want to uh, be buying them. Although those ones come with a fuse, the Maplin's, the Maplin's ones don't. It's cheap, they're only three quid. While you're there, get the... Uh, Fuses, they're a little cartridge glass fuse. Just get a packet of them. When you get your whole yeah, your solder and your heat shrink. The uh, power supply is a 36 volt 10 amp unit, 25 pound delivered. Okay. When you set this up, you've only got one thing to do. It's, don't turn it all the way up. Turn it all the way down. Okay. It's a 36 volt 10 amp switching power supply. £25 delivered, takes 30 odd days to come, you know, buy it now. Right, the driver, the TB6600 driver, the setting of this is by this thing here, okay, all the way that way is uh, half an amp, goes all the way up there to four and a half amps, but we're not going to be anywhere near there, we're going to be run it, running it at 2.5 amps. See the little uh, doodah there, 2.5 amps. Okay, connecting the driver to your breakout board is simple. These, these little things that have got plugs, these plug in. Okay, and they're clearly marked for direction plus and minus, and CP plus and minus uh, is step plus and minus. Your breakout board, the 5 axis digital dream breakout board, simply step plus and minus, direction plus and minus. You can't mess it up. They unplug. You know, they unplug, plug them in. Now you make three up the same. <coughs> it's that simple. Connecting your motor, okay, to your driver is like that. Uh, a plus orange, A minus blue, B plus red, B minus yellow. Okay. There's the code for you to go and check the uh, Sanya Denki website. Type in that long code. Type data sheet. Enter. And you'll download a big PDF and you'll find that motor. Okay, so we all set. Yes. So when you get that breakout board, it'll come with a little CD with a DLL file, a .dll file. And you uh, put that in your Mac, in your plugin control, uh, config, config plugins. There it is. DD Ring 2014. Okay, Digital Dream it stands for. 400J config and it's uh just leave it like that great 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 okay so we're all set to go we'll switch it on plug in the USB breakout board into your old laptop that you don't need no more because you're all Windows 8 I don't think that breakout board works Windows 8 but it does Windows 7 not sure. But anyway, 
off it goes and uh, there you are these motors although they are 3 amps just, just run them at 2.5 and 36 volts the comparison of these drivers at 12 quid each with a TB 6600 chip over these ones you know with a 6560 chip is these can only go up to 24 volts I'll forget the amps but if they're if they're a fiver if they're a tenner and you're waiting 30 days for them to come from China you may as well just sling them and go with those they've got a nicer fatter heat sink look at the comparison you know that's the heat sink on them and that's the big old heat sink of them and they've got a foot on them as well plus they've got plug-in connectors so you can stand these up well I can't stand them up because when they're in your when they're in your box you just stand them up and the connectors just push in from the top you know run a fan on the back is that bolt spacing the same as an off-the-shelf fan can you run um, free 12 volt fans in series and, and feed them 36 volts to know I'm not, I'm not an electronics guru uh, this is the stuff that's available you know and cheap do the comparison um, is that breakout board and free drivers at 90 pound delivered similar in price to uh, the, the, the TB6560 chip with a parallel connector at 90 quid I don't know but it's just the beauty of just any old laptop you know any old laptop USB as long as you keep the power connected and you have it switched to not go to sleep one, if the power leads connected that's all you need to do now the reason I've been nagging like an old lady is just so that's running that file there and it's been running for a while and they're not hot to the touch 36 volts two and a half amps they're not hot to the touch the driver you know it's not cold it's warm but it's not red hot you know it's not about to uh, emit the magic smoke so if I were you, I'd buy that. I'd buy that lot. I'd buy that lot. And when you when you search for these TB6600 drivers, see that that when you go on the on the Sanya Denki website to check the motor code out, the drivers pictured actually look like that. You know, it's the pushing plugs of the the breakout board and the pushing plugs of this and the four wires rather than a looping five volt four wires straight in just makes everything easy if you're a novice you know you can't really go wrong you see what I mean and you've got a 36 volt power supply rather than a 24 volt power supply a 24 volt power supply has only got two connections two lives and two negatives is it or three? Oh no it has got three but you just connect it like that three lives three three neutrals you know just remember to have that all the way down don't whatever you do turn them up to four and a half amps because you'll just melt the chips even though they can take it everything will just get hot the motors are nice and you know they're not cold I mean that the Z's cold this is just a bit warm the drivers are warm you know you really need to get some cooling in when you put them into a case but because they're so tiny you know maybe you can put a fan straight on the back of them I would well, that's what I'm going to do but there you are there's your shopping list 25 pound for your for your PSU your motors are uh, 50 quid for free with 12 pounds 98 delivery your drivers are 36 pound and your breakout boards 54 pounds I mean add that up I'm gonna add it up and it's uh Call it 50, uh, call this um, 62. The breakout board's 54. It's 110, uh, 116, is it? Oh, I can't do some, the weather's too nice. Let's add it all up. £36 for your drivers, £54 for your breakout board is £90. PSU's 25 quid, it's 115 pounds. 50 pound on your motors, it's 165 pounds. And 12 pounds delivered 
is 177 quid all in for that system there. That's bargainous, especially as it's USB TB6600 and you've got quality Sanyo Denki step motors. So there you are. I'm not saying go and buy it, but I'm saying I've bought, you know, everything else, you know, and that's what I would do. So I thank you for watching and uh, say goodbye.